Okay, so this is part two. So here we go. This is the touch sensor, and I haven't even shown you the lasers yet, really. So, here. There you go, man. You got a touch sensor thing on the side uh, of your mask. Or you can put this anywhere you want except for somewhere that has metal by it, okay? <laughs> so keep metal away from it. Uh, no, no, you don't have to keep metal away from it. Metal will, um, metal will just um, trigger it. That's all. You can put metal next to it. That's fine. It's not going to hurt it. It'll just trigger it, okay? Uh, yeah, I made this... Uh, this plastic thing, yeah, I was just telling you a second ago, I made this plastic thing, but I wasn't able to make perfectly parallel holes, so um, you're going to have to, here, turn that back on, so you're going to have to um, align these, I already said that, I said that a second ago, alright, alright, let me see, and a little bit over here, oop, my thing touched, uh, over here we have the, um, the master switch, the master switch and um, the reason why is because uh, our 9 volt battery has to run a regulator that's in here and also we also have to run the electronic switch okay so uh, like this in this mode it can turn on and off uh, using the touch switch but um, when you're done using it for the day uh, it's still using power even it's even when it's off when you um, so when you're done using it for the day then you turn this switch off which disconnects from the battery and saves your battery okay so that's all this is really for you turn it on and then you touch your your touchpad and you can do this all day I bet you're going to uh, do this at home or you're going to touch it and touch it and touch it and touch it and that's too much touching no it's not too much touching it's fun. It's weird. I'm sure everybody's going to do that with their touch switch. Okay, so anyways, man. Yeah, that's my uh, new design for uh, the Predator lasers. Got a touch switch. Okay, now. We're using a 9-volt battery right here. I'm going to, I'm going to send two 9-volt uh, batteries. Uh, one of them is full and one of them is half full. So... <laughs> Okay, so along with uh, the two lasers, I'm sending this thing. You plug it into the wall, and it gives out uh, 12 volts DC at 300 milliamps. All right, so what this does is it sends power to this plug, and you take this plug, and you made it up to the plug from uh, the lasers. All right, and uh, all right turn on the master switch and hit the touch switch where's the touch switch there's the touch switch oh you know what I need to plug this in first oh yeah but before I plug it in I want to tell you that um, in case you unplug this see what this does is it makes it so that you can run the lasers uh, for whatever amount of time uh, out of the wall okay and um, these two contacts right here are kind of um, you know protruding and if this falls and touches any kind of piece of metal on the ground or you know whatever something that conducts then it could make this thing burn out and get really warm or whatever and we don't want that to happen so because of that I put in a fuse alright so we've got a fuse here and uh, inside of this blue thing you have two more fuses all right okay and also just in case anybody kids or whatever uh, tries to plug this into a 9 volt battery actually do not do that <laughs> which uh, I thought would probably make this thing catch on fire but uh, I had this idea that <laughs> that would still only uh, blow the fuse so that would be totally fine and safe and so uh, I made this thing so it's gonna fail safe 
uh, in any conditions. But if uh, you unplug this thing from your lasers and you let this, uh, you can let this um, thing flop down to the ground. I have a switch right here. That's the master switch. And then when you turn that off, yeah, when you turn that off, then this is deactivated and it's not going to conduct to anything. So you don't need to worry about it. Okay. And if it does ever conduct to anything, uh, while this is on, then it'll just blow the fuse. So, all right. Safety. Oh, oh, here, let me take this and plug it in first. Just turned on the, the master switch. Actually, I'm going to turn off the master switch because I might accidentally... Uh, I might accidentally contact both of these to like one of those and uh, that would blow the fuse. So I'm, I've got the switch off, the master switch right now. I've uh, got it off. Okay, so we're gonna mate those two and turn on the master switch and turn on the, the master switch on, on this, on our lasers. And hit hit the there we go yeah okay so yeah you can hit the touch switch and uh, since this is actually now hooked up hooked up to the wall you can theoretically leave these lasers on 24 hours a day <laughs> okay well for 10,000 hours all right so there you go that's what uh, that other th this other thing is made for so now you can turn it on for however long you want you can you can actually leave it on for 24 hours a day if you really cared but uh, if you don't care then uh, you can turn off the then you can turn off the master switch that's uh, on this thing there we go yeah turn off the master switch that's uh, there and then safety all right so uh, I guess that's about it uh, oh, 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 on uh, the original, on the original one, there's this uh, switch um, plug where it connects up to the switch. Okay, the switch has a plug. And the reason why is because you could take the switch and put, uh, put it through a hole, a small drilled hole, and feed the wire through and then connect it up to this thing. And uh, it doesn't matter which way it goes in. It would be that way or this way, whatever. All right. Okay, so don't worry. That's not polarized. All right. I explained about the about the rubber. You can get uh, silver rubber from a party supply store. Okay. Now we're going to do a little experiment with one of these touch sensors. Since I've been telling you to take your touch sensor and glue it to something so that uh, the touch is you know on the outside but the light is underneath we're going to take it and glue it and see if the glue the hot glue see if it does something bad to this let's uh, hope and pray and put some good karma out there that it doesn't and you want to put a lot on there so it glops over on the sides. See? Yeah, like that. And if we want to, yeah, I'm going to take this and pull it back up a little bit. There we go. Okay, and make sure that it's actually, I'm going to put more stuff on the sides. Because we're going to cut away this. We're going to cut away this uh, stuff in a minute. All right, I'll be back in a second when this uh, hot glue is cooled off. Okay, so now the hot glue has uh, has solidified, hardened, and uh, I've plugged our little touch sensor back in. All right, so I don't know if you can see too well. Yeah, you can kind of see. Uh, that it turns on and off still so uh, our 
our uh, test is successful. So it uh, turns on and off. Uh, well, it's encased in this in this uh, clear uh, hot glue. Okay. All okay. right. Now uh, there's one more step. We're going to take a razor blade. You see this uh, this rubber this hot glue. Hot glue goes all the way up to the top edge of this board. All right. And we're going to razor off, uh, make a nice slope, a nice slope going from the top of the board down to uh, the top of this PC board down to this board, the foam board. Okay, so we have we'll have like a little window on the side that will uh, show a little bit of the red light coming through it. Okay, all right. Back in a second. All right. Well, actually, you know what? I can probably do this right now, right in front of you. It's not like I'm holding my camera with my hand or anything like that. Okay. I'm doing laparoscopy. No, I'm not. I'm not using my camera. Taking a biopsy. sides too. I don't know if anybody cares to watch this. this is like nine minutes long but uh, this is the idea I had in mind okay oh shit and uh, okay before um, okay we just put on the glue and we haven't cut it yet okay now you can spray paint this whole thing silver right so this is this is silver on the top and the wires are silver and the glue is also silver right Okay, once the once the power once the paint has dried, uh, you know, it's dried on this thing and the wires and on the glue. Once it's dried, then you take this and you start slicing through this. So this thing will be black and the wires and everything. I mean, silver and everything will be this color silver. But you got this one little red light here that's hanging on the side of your uh, mask which just adds one more little bell and whistle yeah see see how it makes those nice looking faces right there that's pretty cool all right all right cool so we've got our little thing and it's raised a little bit up so that we have a little bit more light distribution all right so yeah Put the glue on and let the glue dry then paint all over the whole thing you know the silver color and uh it would help if uh, actually what's below this uh if I, instead of using black i should have used like white or 